Hey good people, welcome back to Beauty in the Frizz. My name is Kara. Whether you are new or returning, thank you so much for stopping by and hanging out with me for another one today. This is going to be the second palette where I am going to be doing five looks. And I'm really excited because today I'm going to be using the Jewels and Gems palette, Jewels and Gem, not Gems, palette by Odin's Eye. If you want to see five looks with this palette, keep watching this video. Let me know what you think. And if makeup is your therapy and your love, if it makes you happy and you want to hang out with someone that feels the same way and is trying to get the most out of their collection, definitely consider joining the community. I'd love to have you back. All right, let's get started. So let me know how you all are doing. I am feeling really good. Haven't been sleeping well, but it's that excitement that is stopping me from sleeping well. So that is something that I am going to work on. Other than that, I really have no complaints. I'm really looking forward to a family vacation, which I will be on when this video goes up, but we are gonna have a chat. So I will be chatting from that location and I just hope you all are doing well. So please let me know in the chat or the comments how you're doing. Now, this Odin's Eye palette, uh, was part of a collection, the George's collection, I believe it was called. And I just want to say before I get into this, this is not going to be a swatch video. This is not a review video. This is just makeup inspo. Let's just have fun. I have had the two palettes for a couple of months and I'm just sitting down to use it and I wanted to do five looks because I think this palette really lends itself to five looks. It's a cooler toned color story. And this is, as you see on the thumbnail, it's like getting to know her. It's a getting to know her series. The first palette I did was with the Trio Chrome palette, which I hope you all enjoyed. I don't want to make this intro too long because I know the video is long, but I don't use my palettes a lot. There are some palettes I know I've only used one time, two times, and that's really unacceptable. And because my eyeshadow collection is so large, there's no way that I'm going to go through all 200, however many palettes I have and do five looks. Some of the palettes don't lend themselves to that, but I really want to slow down. I want to slow down with these palettes, stop jumping from palette to palette, adding to my palette count and and really explore them and see what they're made of and and see just the different looks and i'm hoping that anyone that's watching this video will find one or two that will appeal to them so i'm just going to show you the palette up close and then we're going to get right into the five looks so as you can probably tell by now i've used all of the shades and i will talk to you all at the end about how i feel about the looks and the palette as a whole we're going to get into these five looks grab a snack grab something to drink uh be prepared to chat because i'm gonna be chatting all the way through these are five looks that i've done over the course of the last week or so so enjoy and i will see you all at the end oh my god why okay i'm so excited i know my hair looks a little but I love that look. Um, I am getting ready to go out with my sister for her birthday, y'all. I got on a little maxi dress from Gap. It's got these eyelets in it. It's like a tank top at the top and then these little eyelets at the bottom. Not the whole bottom, but just part of the bottom. Anyway, y'all, I was like, I wanna wear a new palette today. So I'm gonna start my next little palette series with the Odin's Eye Jewels and Gems palette. And I'm gonna let you know what else is on my face cause it looks like a lot. Mm -hmm. I'm so excited. Oh my God, look, the plastic's on. Look y'all, rip me out the plastic I've been acting brand new. Like, look at this. Okay, we're just gonna put something together. I don't even know what. I'm not trying to do a whole lot right here with this look because I don't have that kind of time. I'm trying to film um, Purchase or Pass before we do this. And this video, I don't even know when this is going up, so it doesn't even matter. Okay, have on the NARS primer. Okay, go. I'm feeling cool toned. I am. I know khaki is kind of, this isn't like a warm khaki. It's like a cool khaki. Okay. Okay, sorry. Um, <laughs> it's like a cool khaki. Okay, so let's, Mm. Hi. Okay. Okay. Let's start with Haven because why not? I gotta do this quick, y'all. Oh my god, I cannot be playing around. I cannot be playing around. I know my lips don't look like they're done, but they are. Oh my gosh. I oh my gosh, I'm excited. I'm excited. Because y'all know I don't go nowhere. I go nowhere. So we're going to this restaurant. First of all, let me tell you, my sister took like 
I don't even know. It, it, and then I feel bad because I was like, I should have been the one to plan, you know, for her birthday. I just feel like she's so picky. And she's like, but you know how I am. And I'm like, that is true. So, you know what? Maybe when she turns 40. I really always be trying to do stuff for birthdays. And I'm just not that person. I'm like... I don't have to do anything, but I know she's that person. So, you know what? How about this? We're not waiting till 40. Why are we not waiting till 40? Because for what? Why are we waiting? Every day is a special occasion. That's what my friend Locke said. Waking up is a special occasion. So, you know what? We're not even going to wait for a birthday to plan a lunch. How about that? How about that? I'm in a spicy mood and... I'm not even blending this with care and that's okay but see I'm not going for a lot with this uh situation I'm just not I actually should have did elation first and then I, did I say haven I'm thinking about Sydney Grace it's heaven a mess but I love love this shade I have been so waiting to use this palette and it's been months now it's been months I actually I always like this eye better always i don't know if it's because i'm going on the opposite side so i think what i'm gonna do now because i really like this eye better this eye has it's just a slight flow with this one okay i'm gonna go into ecstasy right here because i'm all about blend out shades now because you know i never understood them before but i'm learning i'm gonna use these blend out shades let y'all know that right now put it right on over top closer to the brow bone though just to give us a little more flow we don't want to have that white space that negative space i mean i don't i don't like the negative space oh my gosh let's just stop now okay let's not okay love it uh shimmer we need a shimmer this is the one but we're gonna go with swoon the last swoon shade that i did was a multi-chrome from sydney grace i am so sorry like what 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 is this oh no oh no oh no it's a fire see that you can't tell you can't I'm just be quiet. I'm just going to be cold. Why? See, you know what? You know when they say good things come to those who wait? Like, I waited to use this palette at the right moment for me. It wasn't a rush. I wasn't trying to get up a video. I wasn't trying to be with the crowd. Oh. Okay. Okay. All right. I, I have nothing else to say. And you know what? I was going to go with gorgeousness but i'm not i'm not i'm gonna go with paradise you know why because that's, that's how i'm feeling i want contrast i want loyalty yes oh my odin's i can't i can't do this this is some sparkly remarkable goodness and all of us over here, well, I'm not saying we feeling bad, but I was feeling bad that I didn't like that mothership. I gotta get this video up soon because the mothership's gonna be nothing that we talking about by the time this video goes up, by the time I do a whole bunch of looks with this pal. Would you have paired these colors together? Because I would not have. I, well, I, I did. Okay. <laughs> I am, oh my gosh. Okay, so I think we're gonna Caught up in the rapture of you. Ah. We're going into rapture, y'all. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Zip a zip It made me mad though with that whole baby face situation did y'all hear about that let me turn this up a little bit she i mean she pretty much kicked baby face off the tour and that was sad 
talking about did she call him a support act i mean i know he wasn't the headline but y'all know if you go to see babyface and anita baker you're going to see babyface and anita baker you're not going to just see anita baker i'm sorry nobody at that tour was going to just see anita although i love anita but you know lil wayne was at the anita concert not this one but one of the other ones and that's awesome because i love anita baker i grew up on anita baker because that's what my parents listened to but what i am saying is that when can i see you again like we are going to see babyface did y'all hear babyface when he did the um because on my christmas playlist i i did link that last year his rendition of rudolph the red-nosed reindeer like nobody was just going to see anita this is my favorite look right now that i've done in life well no not in life but i am just really feeling this and i'm gonna go back into heaven which was this one here for the under eye oh my goodness i cannot wait to use this palette see this my friends this my friends is the feeling that we want from our shadows like not i have to use it it's i want to use it i can't wait Oh my gosh, this is amazing. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do purchase or pass. Oh my gosh, 617. I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to, because I need to leave it like, we need to be there at 745 and I'm not trying to be late because I know she'll say something. If I'm late, my sister will say something like, oh, you're late. Like, I don't, mm -mm. nope, 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 nope. I'm going to go into elatedness because that's how I feel uh, for the inner corner. Oh, this one looks a little flaky, hold on. Got a little brush here from, uh, what is this? It's a Glamineer? It's from BoxyCharm, y'all. BoxyCharm. I'm so glad, cause I was like, I'm not gonna film this. I'm not even gonna do, I was like, I'm not even gonna do any eyeshadows, what I said. I'm just gonna do it like a little brown matte, little Sydney Grace, little peanut butter, a little something. You know what I mean? But nope, mm-mm, we gonna, mm-mm, nope. Not wasting the time going in. I already have my liner picked out, which is Fig from Victoria Beckham. I would use, actually I wouldn't. I was gonna say Bordeaux, but nope. A Bordeaux, we're going with Fig. Yes, honey. I'm just putting it in here. I don't need it to be doing too much. Yeah, that's, that's what I'm talking about. I feel like I need to sharpen this pencil because, but it's, it's gonna work for this moment. I cannot believe I just put this little color story together because I, you know, sometimes I'll look at the mm, the palettes to try to think of an idea. Let me turn this back down because now I look real bright. And I was like, we're just gonna go with the flow. We're gonna do the, um, I'm not gonna do this for all five looks, but I'm gonna try to, you know, do how I did with the uh, Natasha Denona Trio Chrome, which I have not edited yet, but I came on with one eye done and then, you know, do the other eye. This, mm -mm, this fire is just doing everything that I needed to do plus more. And I'm taking an Uber, y'all. I'm, I'm tired. I'm tired of driving. I'm tired of looking for parking. I'm sorry. Like, by the time I take an Uber downtown, it'll be the same as it costs to park. I'm, I'm tired of searching. I'm tired of searching around. I'm tired of, uh, ooh, can my car, my truck fit in here? Not that I have a big truck. I don't have a big truck. But I'm saying... Can it fit? Like, I'm tired of that. I'm tired. So you know what? At this point when I go out, I'm gonna pay the extra money to Uber myself and go ahead and enjoy. Then I can have one or two cocktails. Cocktail sounds fancier than drinks. I can have one or two cocktails and then bring my butt home. Don't have to worry about it. Oh God. Don't have to worry about parking. I just, oh my gosh, I got mascara in my hair. Don't have to worry about all that stuff. Don't have to worry about driving on the cobblestone streets and figuring it out. Don't have to worry about the people that's been drinking, walking in the street, cause that's how it is downtown in certain points. Like I, I'm just, I don't have to worry about it. And it is worth it, it is worth it. But I know, see my sister, she loves that element of control. So I get that as well. And I offered to get her an Uber, but she doesn't want to do that. What, what do we think? Because I think yes. 
I think yes, I did get some mascara on my face, but whatever. Here's the final look, y'all. Come on, uh, y'all. Why? I can't. Since we are going somewhere, I do need to send. You know what? I'm gonna go with this combo here. We've got. I don't need a prince by my side to be a princess by Killian. Oh my gosh, y'all. I cannot. I want to get the little light version of that, but I don't have any money for that right now because I'm about to buy a new iPad for editing because I'm having a space issue and it's just a lot going on with the pistachio. Oh, I need it. Let me know what you think about this first look. I'm, I'm ready to go. I'm ready to go. I'm here for it. Oh, I wanted to tell you about the blush. The blush is from the NARS Afterglow blush palette. And oh my gosh, where's the lipstick? This is one of my favorite lipsticks from Natasha Denona. It's the shade Amorosa. And you know, I love new shades like this. Like it looks like I don't have anything on. That is yes. And then I have on this ColourPop in Obvi. It's so Obvi. I think that is so great. I don't know why I did that. Um, what else? Chanel number one skin tint. I have on my pink powder. Under my eyes, I'm wearing my LYS concealer with Melt Blush. I think it's either Sandy Cheeks or Cali Dream. I just mix it all under and I got my pink powder. That's it, y'all. All right, let's get into another look because that took 16 minutes and the rest of them can't take this long. All right, you guys, we're going to get into the second look with Jewels and Gems. This is what I came up with. So let me know what you think about that. And let's create it. Got aerial ears today. I'm going to start with Seventh Heaven and then I'm going to go into Sazzle and I'm going to be using a Singe Beauty blender brush. This is the E03. Taking Seventh Heaven and I'm just putting that in the transition area. It's kind of a grige or olivey kind of tone. You know, I was just thinking, uh, these Singe Beauty brushes are really soft, uh, maybe a little too soft. I'll just switch to uh, this Blend Bunnies brush for a second. Um, I'll go back to the Singe. And this brush is a B5. Well, just something like that. Nothing uh, really, you know, extravagant with, with this blending and with this uh, shade. So I'm gonna leave it like that. So now I'm going to take the Singe Beauty brush and go into Sazzle, which is the deep brown for the outer corner and the crease. And I will come back into the Sazzle shade after we do our shimmer. For the shimmer, I'm going into the shade High, and I'm just gonna place that all over the lid. This is like beautiful, almost uh, iridescent duochrome. It's like a um, brown gold. This one I feel like could get some hard pan. Uh, so just be careful. But at the same time, I feel like using it with a brush. I'm not sure how it would do with a brush. I'll have to try it with a brush and let y'all know. Going back into Sazzle just to uh, put the depth kind of back in the inner corner, outer corner, because the shimmer took it all the way over. For the lower lash line, I'm going back into Seventh Heaven, which was our transition shade, and I'm taking a refer number two, and I'm just gonna take it all the way across. Now for the inner corner, we winked. We're gonna go into Elatedness. Uh, Elatedness is like this icy pink, and I just have a pencil brush. I'm just gonna pop it here on the inner corner. And that's it. I'm gonna get ready to put on my liner and mascara. So let me tell you what I'm using. From Linda Hallberg, I'm using the Grish Core Crayon. This is one of my favorite liners and most unique. Unique. Look at that. And it goes really great like with that Seventh Heaven transition shade. So I'm gonna put that on and my Maybelline Surreal Falsies mascara and be back to show you the finished look. Okay, back with the finished look. Let me know your thoughts. I wanted to tell you about my lip combo today. It is a ColourPop lippy pencil in the shade 
control, CTRL. So that's the pencil. And then I'm using a Kaleidos lip clay because I told you I'm bringing it back out. And I have a uh, Sienna right here. So I have a little combo going. Mm -hmm. Yep, got to use this stuff. Got to use it up. Okay, so let me know what you think about look number two and we're going to get into a few more. All right, you guys, here's look number three. I just realized I didn't put mascara on yet. So I'll do that at the end on this eye. But look at this. This is so pretty. So we're going to do that on the other side. I'm wearing my hourglass foundation. I haven't worn that in a long time. So I wanted to put that on today. And I have on Hourglass Sublime Flush Blush with my Say Quartz Glow. So I am really liking that. And then I do have to figure out a lippy for this look. So, all right. The first shade I'm gonna go to into, the first shade I'm going into is the shade Heaven. And Heaven, I for Heaven I'm taking a E01 DL brush from Bristles Beauty. And I'm just taking that in the transition area. And I, it looks like I have some of the deeper shade on here, so we're gonna go ahead and get into that. That's intoxication. I'm gonna put it in the outer corner and take it through the crease. Now I'm gonna come back into that shade again after we get into the shimmer. Oh, the other thing that I did was I went into Ecstasy. Ecstasy is this shade here. And I actually did that before I went into the deep shade just to uh, highlight the brow bone area and soften the transition. Almost forgot about that. I put a little more ecstasy on this eye. So I'm gonna just do the same over here. Going back to intoxication. Okay, that's pretty good. The first shimmer I'm using is exhilaration. Just using that on my finger. I'm just gonna press it in. I'm gonna go about halfway over. And I'm going back into intoxication just to merge it all together. Next, I'm gonna use the shade Rhapsody. I'm just gonna take Rhapsody on my finger. And I think our purple shade exhilaration would have been great all the way across the lid but sometimes I like this effect and I think these two colors really uh, work well together. For the under eye, I have a What's Up Beauty R101 brush. I am going to go into Intoxication, which was that deep purple on the lower lash line, the outer part. I'm just taking that along the outer part of the lower lashes. And then I'm gonna go into Heaven, which was the transition shade for the rest of the lower lash line. For the inner corner highlight, we're gonna go into Swoon. Swoon got a little uh, dirty for my brush, but it's still beautiful. Here is look number three. Let me know what you think. I'm gonna do my liner and my uh, mascara, uh, but really fast, this liner is from the Urban Decay Game of Thrones collection and it's Dragon Smoke. I don't know if that's black or charcoal and it has a little sheen to it. So I'm gonna put that on with my mascara and then I will be right back. All right, y'all, I'm back with the final look. Um, I am also filming a Lisa Eldridge like lip combo video and I started with Velvet Myth, which is this one, but then I took it off and went with Night Thought. So it's a little, could be a little uh, cleaner, but that's not why you're here. You're here for this jewels and gems. So look at this y'all, oh my gosh. I think this look is so oh, like, yes. Look at the fire in the inner corner, highlight. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, this is why I five looks, this is why. Because I am just, I'm impressed with, this is the third look. I, I've loved all three. So usually once I get to three, four and five sometimes become a little more challenging because I'm trying to do something different. I can't remember what colors that I use, but that's okay because this is all about makeup play and just having fun. So let me know what you think about look number three and we're gonna get to look number four right now. All right, you guys, we are back for look number four. I'm actually about to go to lunch with one of my good friends, my friend Liz, and uh, let's go ahead and do this. Before I forget, let me tell you, I'm wearing 
What About Pop from the House of Oud. I got a, a travel size and it was a blind buy. It's like popcorn in the best way, but it's like spicy cinnamon. It just smells so good. Oh, it's so good. Okay, uh, what are we gonna do today? Oh, let me tell y'all this story. Hold on while we're doing this. Let's do, um, I'm gonna use this shade right here, Transition. I don't know if I used it yet. I feel like I didn't. I also don't have a lippy one because I just don't know. I have my little melt blushes on that I do like with my concealer. I don't know if I'm putting on another blush. I don't know. I'm, I'm liking, there's like a little flush kind of look right here that looks very natural that I'm into. And I'm wearing the NARS uh, primer. I am, oh my gosh, y'all, so much going on. Uh, Angie Hot and Flashy A503. So this video, when this video goes up, I'm gonna be out of town. I know that for sure. And I'm telling y'all, okay, I got two stories. So first, let's, oh, I was supposed to come up with the first I done, wasn't I? Let me make this quick then. Let's talk about how Marky was complaining about some ear pain. Now, you know, we're about to go out of town, like tomorrow. I'm like, oh my gosh. So he has an ear infection and you know, he's got drops and something else, a liquid. So I'm just like, I'm really hoping that his eyes are feeling better by the time we get on this plane. Otherwise, I just think it is not going to be enjoyable for him. I, I think I want to do this almost Halo-y, but we'll see. All right, second story. So he's doing okay. Like, he, and I have a ibuprofen for him as well. So he's doing all right, but I hate when my baby's in pain. Okay. I don't know, me and these eye colors sometimes, but I want to try it out. I really don't think I've used this shape. Okay, next story. Do y'all know that y'all girl, Mama Pat, there was a glitch uh, with this new mothership and it was 30% off. Now, I don't know when the mothership is supposed to launch. I went on cause like a lot of people tag me and they're like, run, run, like you gotta run, you gotta get it now. And I started to, I did, I started running. I was like, yes. And then I was like, Kara, no, 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 and no. You're not gonna be jumping to get this, this palette. Like you're just not gonna do it. You're not gonna do it. Okay, see how this eye is? I don't like how this eye is. So we're gonna redo that. I'm telling y'all this eye always comes out the way I want it to. So a lot of people got it for like 90 something bucks. And I think with it, you got a mini blush set or something. I cannot believe I stayed strong because I was I was clicking on the links and stuff and I was like Kara no because it's my theory that and I'll probably say this in purchase or pass because that's gonna go up before this so you're hearing it twice it's my theory that it's not a real glitch it's my theory that this is a way to, I don't want to say publicity stunt because that's not, I don't want, that's not what I mean. I just think it's a way for people to get it early. It's almost like you paid to get PR. You see what I'm saying? Like now you got a discount. I, I don't know if I'm explaining it well, but I think because people, a lot of people were complaining about it. Now, you know, there's going to be some videos going up possibly, possibly, this is all a theory before the real launch and then you can really decide. I don't know y'all, I might just be making it up. All right, so I do like this. It's kind of like a gloomy blue. I think it's very pretty. So anyway, I'm excited. I'm excited to go on vacation. I'm excited, you know, to have a change of scenery, but I really want Marquis ears to to be better. Let me know what y'all think. Like I said, we'll probably have discussed this knowing me because I repeat myself a lot, but you may not have seen Purchaser Pass. So you may not have known about the glitch, but if you were able to get it, you know what I'm saying? Like kudos because 30% off is a nice amount. It's a nice amount. And you know, when, when Pat McGrath does do her sales, she usually doesn't include her newest items uh, in the sale, like the last sales that she's been having, she has not included the blushes because those blushes are, are new. So to get a brand new mothership at this price, you know, is awesome. Now she had a glitch sale that was 50% off um, last year. I didn't get anything. I didn't have anything to get. I mean, I have so much by Pat McGrath. There just wasn't really anything for me to, um, to purchase. But yeah, let me know what y'all are thinking about that. 
and let me know how y'all are doing how y'all doing with this video i'm hoping i was really trying to get it under 30 minutes but now that i didn't come on with the i look completed i'm, I'm just have to kind of edit it down so oh my gosh i got another story y'all maybe i should save it but let me tell y'all like and hopefully when y'all see this i have my replacement no claiming it when y'all see this i'll have my replacement I got or ordered a new iPad uh, because my iPad was having a storage issue. This is gorgeousness. I'm gonna see how that looks here. And of course, since then I figured out all the stuff that was taking up the storage, which was the messages. Anyway, that's not the point because I still ordered the new iPad because my screen goes black when it wants to. Um, now, coincidentally, it hasn't been going black since I spent money, but it did go black this morning when I was at the, um, the little clinic with Marky. So then I was like, okay, I still felt like it's worth it. Long story short, the iPad arrived the other day and Tyrone was like, oh, this feels really light. You know why it was light? Y'all wanna know why? Cause nothing was in it. Nope. Nothing was in it y'all. So I know some of y'all are hearing this story probably for the second time, possibly. Nothing was in it. <laughs> They left me the charger in the cord and tried to tape the box up. And it's like, you knew something was wrong because Apple always seals their, their products. So I'm like, come on, y'all tried it. So I had to file a claim. I filed a claim with Apple and with UPS. But yeah, y'all. Apple actually decided that night, they were like, oh, we're gonna resend it, which was great. Cause UPS, I don't know, I don't try. Anyway, I should have that by now. So I'm sure I went into the story in great detail. Uh, so I'm gonna leave it there. What do y'all think? That's like a little cute situation. You know what I'm saying? I'm just trying to make sure I use all the shades since I'm since I am doing the five looks. Yeah, I might just leave it. Like you know, everything doesn't have to be a whole bunch of you know drama. And I'm 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 liking that. So let's let's leave it. Gonna take a Sydney Grace. Uh, shader brush and go back into transition for the lower lash line this is just nice and simple go underneath all the way two-tone look because everybody don't want to use you know what i'm saying like five six eyeshadow shades you know like sometimes simplicity is what we need and actually this is nice yeah i like that it's kind of um this this is what i need when i do a blue look I, I can't have it be too 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 pigmented i just that's just not for me i'm gonna take this sonia g flat definer and i when you look at the uh inner corner highlights i don't know yeah, we can see what the shade high will do i'm i'm just not sure and i don't know odin's eyes shadows i love them but they get this like almost hard panty type thing so you kind of have to scrape in a little bit yeah yeah let's let's stick with this wasn't sure if this was going to be uh what i was going for i also know that in the first look because i already edited that i know sometimes i'd be like down here and you it zooms in on my hair so i have to work with my focus i'm actually thinking about upgrading my camera y'all oh my god I love this camera, but the camera that I go live from, I'm thinking about upgrading that. Or maybe just having one camera that can do both. I can go live from this uh, Canon, but there's a whole bunch of rigmarole with it and like the focus doesn't work and it'll have all the menu options on there. It's called clean HDMI. It doesn't have clean HDMI, but that's a long story. Anyway, thinking about that, but I also just bought an iPad, so I gotta chill. Like I'm acting like I got all this money um okay nice and bright for some reason right here eyeliner i'm gonna come back with my liner and mascara just for the sake of time i'm going to be using the victoria beckham ash liner and my what's up beauty mascara so i will be back with the finished look i will find a lip as well all right back with the final look and i told you what i was using and for the lips show you the look first let me know what you think about that for the lips, I'm just wearing Lisa Eldridge, Meet Me in Berlin. I, that was gonna be easy. I'm running a bit short on time. And um, I just thought this would be really nice with the blue. I didn't wanna do anything too bold because blue really stands out to me. So yeah, 
that's uh, the look. Number four, we got one more left, y'all, and um, I, I'm still excited to use this palette. I didn't feel so much with that uh, when I used the Trio Chrome palette, um, just because I feel like there were like three distinct looks. But this one's a little bit different, so let's see what I'm gonna come up with for this last one. All right, you guys, if you have made it to this point in the video, you are definitely a real one, so thank you for staying with me. This is the last look. So it's kind of like this smoky brown gray with a little blue at the bottom. So let's go ahead and create it on this eye and then I will be letting y'all go. Starting with Seventh Heaven, that was what I started with in the very first look, I believe. And I'm gonna start it on the outer corner. I actually have concealer uh, as my primer right now because I packed uh, my primer because I only have one eye primer. I'm gonna start this on the outer corner I'm using an Angie Hot and Flashy A503 brush, and I'm just trying to keep it in the crease. I'm actually gonna switch brushes in a second. I'm just doing the exact same thing I did on the other eye um, as far as the brushes go. So now I have the Angie Hot and Flashy A502 where I'm just going to put it in like the inner uh, transition and crease area, actually crease, not transition. So I don't really want it up here. I'm just bringing it up a little bit, but not too high. So just like that. And even though it's not looking really even, it is not gonna matter. Going into Sozzle, and I do have the original brush, the Angie Hot and Flashy. This is just gonna go on the outer corner and in the crease. I said this one isn't like super neat or anything. I think this is like a really nice evening look. And I just like all of the different looks you're able to do with this palette. And we'll come back to Sozzle shortly. I'm just gonna leave it like that for right now. And for the shimmer, we're gonna take Paradise on a finger. This one, again, is another one that feels like uh, it can be, uh, I won't say it's hard panned, I'm gonna just say it's a hard pressed shimmer. Those are not my favorites to use, but it's coming up fine on my finger. Sometimes I have hard pressed shimmers that I don't really feel like come off the greatest, but the great thing about the hard pressed shimmers, if I'm thinking of a positive, is that you don't really get any fallout, which, you know, is, is lovely. And this one has just a nice sparkle. I know I used this in the very first look but this time taking it all the way across the lid. And this is the only shimmer I'm gonna be using on the lid. I think in the first look, I used two shimmers. So that's what we have so far. Going back into Sozzle and just blending it all together so that you do kind of see that brown smokiness. But it's, it's just not super neat and I kind of like that. I don't kind of like that, I'm gonna stop with that passive language. I like that, I like that it's not super neat but I think it looks pretty well blended. For the lower lash line, I'm gonna take this pencil brush and I'm gonna go into Rapture. Rapture is this blue and I'm gonna try to keep this very close to the lower lash line. I'm trying to be in focus y'all. No, I wasn't in some of the looks because I get really carried away and I get excited and forget that I'm actually trying to film. So I'm going to be more conscious about that. Just taking it all the way over. And I, I love how it picks up like the gray. I think that picks up so nicely with the gray here. Now for the inner corner highlight, I'm going to go back into Swoon. Swoon is that fiery shade. I know I did use it as an inner corner highlight in another look, but that's just what I want to go for. There's a couple other good choices. Elatedness, which is this icy pink. That could be good as well, but I really love the fire. You know, I love that. So there's our look, final look, and I'm gonna come back with my mascara and my liner and just let you know how I feel about this palette overall. Just so you know, I'm not wearing any foundation, but I do have on concealer. I think I forgot to put on powder too, but I'm wearing Pomelo Peach Blush from House Labs and Nude Venus uh, Divinal Lip Shine from Pat McGrath. Okay, I'll be right back. I, all right, you all, I am back with the last finished look. 
and I think it turned out fantastic. I really love it. I think it's beautiful and I think it's so pretty for a night out. I think you could wear this during the daytime. I, I think it just depends on whatever your style is or how you do the lip. You know what I mean? This is kind of like a really, or a bolder look with a lighter lip. I think it looks great. And to finish it off, I did use the Charlotte Tilbury liner and this is in Copper Charge. I use the brown matte side or kind of coppery matte. And then I have on my Maybelline Surreal Falsies mascara and that is it. So let me get into my final thoughts about the Jewels and Gems palette. All right, so overall, after doing five looks, I can say that I really like this palette. I like it a lot. I enjoyed every single look. I liked the variety. I did not feel a sense of boredom after three looks. I feel like there are more looks that can be created with this palette. As far as the performance of the palette, I think it is up to par with Odin's eye and the way their palettes have been performing lately. Some of the shimmers are chunkier. Some of them are more hard pressed. Some of them are just right. I do find that with Odin's eye, some of the shimmers have a tendency to have a bit of hard pan, but it doesn't really impact for me the performance of the shimmer. Like they still come up pretty good. I want to say I may have taken some tape to some of my Odin's eye shimmers or have had to kind of scrape them a little bit. And I do know from talking to people that that can be annoying or bothersome and some people just don't like that. I did have that in this palette where I had to scrape, you know, so that is just something to consider. As far as the color story though, I really love it. I consider this a cool tone palette and I typically go for warmer palettes, but after using this one, I could see myself using a palette like this pretty often. So as far as having it in my collection, I'm happy to have it in my collection. I really like Odin's Eye as a brand. I like the themes and the color stories that they create. And I think their performance is really nice. That is how I feel about jewels and gems. And eventually I will do the same thing with the stone and rock palette. I think that's what it's called, but I will be working on that at a later date. Let me know if you purchased this palette, how you feel about it, how often you've used it, and what you thought about the palette and whether or not you feel like it was a great addition to your collection. For me, I'm glad to have it. So that's gonna be it. Thank you for staying with me and hanging out for these five looks. I hope that this was therapy for you. It always is for me. And until I see you again, make sure you're being gentle with yourself. Talk to yourself nice, stay safe, and I will definitely see y'all in the next one. Bye. Go on, block your ears.